<laughs> hey y'all, welcome to What's Cooking with Paula Dean. But today it's welcome to What's Cooking with Michael and Paula. Uh, hey, hey Michael. <laughs> hey dog. <laughs> How are you? Good, good. Huh? I'm good. Good, you How look you? good. I'm good. We're all good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I want to talk about today? Tell me. I want to talk about a one-pot wonder that I do. Uh, do you remember when Diane Tedder and Marilyn Milson came to spend a few days oh, yeah, with yeah, us? Sure. You know, and you took us crabbing. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, you turned those girls into two of the happiest girls doing something so simple as uh, string crabbing. They had a ball, and uh, when I talked to them, they they're still talking about you taking them crabbing, and they want to go again so badly. When Diane and Marilyn come to visit, Marilyn always wants to cook at least one dinner meal for us. So she chose this dish to prepare for dinner for us, and it was delicious. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. You do remember. I do remember, yeah. And let me tell you on how easy it is. You just go buy you a, a four to six pound chuck roast and I wouldn't use any other kind but chuck. Chuck roast is the cheaper of the roast and it's definitely the best. And you just um, rub it with a teaspoon of salt, pepper, and a teaspoon of garlic powder. And um, I like to cook mine in my multi-cooker uh, because my multi-cooker is a stovetop cooker uh, st it steams, it keeps it on warm, it slow cooks. Um, I can actually even fry in, in my multi-cooker, so I love using that. So after I've rubbed all my seasoning on my roast, I turn it on high and I brown it off right there. And then it, it's so, it's crazy simple. You uh, get one package of like a brown demi-glaze package, you know, in the section at the grocery store where they have all these different seasonings, you know, mm -hmm. for meatloaf, for chili. You find it right there, and then you take one envelope of ranch dressing mix and pour that, those two things, all over your roast. Then you lay a stick of butter <laughs> on top of that roast and then you take a jar of peppercini peppers. They're the light green peppers that are about that long, and they're, there's really no heat to them, right? Once in a while, a bit. once in a while, I'll get hold of one that mm -hmm. may have a little heat, but very, very little. And uh, I just put like a dozen of pepperoncinis all over it, put the lid on it, and let it cook for like six hours, and it's incredible. Incredible over rice, y'all. Just incredible. And even though we hadn't put a speck of liquid into our pot, the roast is covered in a liquid. And it's so good. All you have to do is uh, turn your cooker back up and bring it to a bowl and thicken your gravy with a little cornstarch and water mixed together. It's heavenly. Isn't it? Yeah, I love it. The best, that package of Demi Glaze just gives it the richest beefy taste. And ooh, you talking about your house smelling good. Yum. And it's so easy. You can, uh -huh. you can... I appreciate Marilyn sharing that yeah. recipe with me. Uh, another time, I can't remember what she cooked, but um, it, it didn't beat this. No, that's my favorite that she cooks. Mm -hmm. Marilyn also shared with me a recipe years ago that I think is the best I have ever tasted, and that's potato soup. Mm -hmm. She makes a killer potato soup. I could live off soup. I know you could, I know you could. Uh, we're having a, a white bean soup for dinner tonight. Oh, good. My cousin, your cousin, is home cooking it right now as we speak. Perfect. And I thought maybe you could make the cornbread. 
Okay, I'll do it. No, Don wants me to make, um, he went to the store and got some okra. He wants me to uh, slice that okra real, real thin and put it in my hoe cake batter and make us okra hoe cakes. Oh, that'd be good. Maybe, mm, I, maybe mm. I'll do jalapenos. You can make me yeah, some. yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll have to stop by the store. We can do that. All right, well, let's take a quick break and get our heads together on what we're going to do. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're still looking at me funny. <laughs> we'll be back in a second. <laughs> Everybody has a favorite holiday tradition, and for me, I love giving gourmet goodies from harryanddavid.com. Harry and David has something delicious for everybody on your list, including me. In fact, I've got ahead of the holidays, and I enjoyed preparing a wonderful fresh pear salad with those delicious, juicy pears. Entertaining over the holidays is so easy, especially when you can gather all around and enjoy treats from Harry and David. And right now, Harry and David is offering you 20% off your holiday purchase. That's 20% off all the Christmas gifts and goodies that the lucky person on your list can handle. Sending any of Harry and David's delicious goodies is a perfect way to show your friends, family, and co-workers just how much you're thankful for them. And whether they're a chocolate lover, a late night snacker, or a wine lover, or a holiday hostess, Harry and David has something for everybody to love. And I think 20% off your holiday order is an amazing deal, but you have to hurry because it expires Friday. Harry and David is part of the 1-800-Flowers family of brands and the company that I go to for all my holiday gift giving and my entertaining needs. To get 20% off select holiday favorites now, go to harryanddavid.com, click the radio icon, and enter code Paula. That's harryanddavid.com. Click the radio icon and enter code P-A-U-L-A for 20% off. Hurry, y'all, because the offer ends Friday. Hey, y'all, welcome back to What's Cooking with Paula Dean and her husband, Michael Groover, today. So I was just uh, telling y'all that uh, my cousin Don is home cooking us like white bean soup with a bunch of ham. Oh, good. A bunch of smoked ham in it, and it's going to be so good. And we can't have that without having some cornbread. Uh, so Don wants me to make the lace hoe cake with the real thin sliced okra in it. Right. Now, I can make that kind, at, which is one and a half cups of plain white cornmeal. You add a teaspoon of salt and uh, two cups of water. And you'll want your batter. And of course, you'll need a hoe cake pan. Uh, a hoe pan is about that big, and the sides just go up just a little bit. And it's cast iron. In order to make a lace hoe cake, you must have that pan. It almost looks like a griddle with just a little yeah, lip around. With it. just a little lip. You'll need a good bit of oil because I oil my skillet real good. And uh, like I said, you'll want your batter so thin that when you pour it, when you pour your batter onto your hot skillet, and it be it'll become like lace around the edges. It doesn't, even, it doesn't look like it's thick enough. It looks like water almost. Uh-huh. It's not much thicker than, than water. And it takes forever for lace hoe cakes to cook, y'all, which seems crazy. It doesn't seem logical. But a self-rising hoe cake, like we serve at the restaurants, cook very, very quickly. They look like little pancakes almost. Uh-huh. Just a real, like almost a crepe. Right. Uh, but so good. And uh, you have to cook them over like medium-high heat. And you have to keep an eye on them. I've got my grandmother's good spatula mm -hmm. that I can get around there. And uh, if I have to, I add a little bit more oil to it. And then I flip it and uh, cook it real good on the other side. So that's what, but I add sliced, real paper-thin sliced 
okra slices into the hoe cake. And that's what Don wants for dinner. So, I'm, but. I'm gonna get you to do jalapenos also. Okay, I will do some jalapenos. And I got another cornbread, y'all, that's real, real good. Uh, the corny cornbread, I know y'all have all eaten that. Mm -hmm. So I can make this too. And all it is, y'all, is a cup and a half of self-rising cornmeal. And I like white. I usually stick with a white cornmeal. And three-fourths a cup of self-rising flour. And a cup of grated cheddar cheese. A little eight-ounce can of cream corn. Eight ounces of cream cheese. Yum. <laughs> a half a cup of vegetable oil. Two diced jalapenos. I put jalapenos in this one. Oh, good. And two eggs. So you you will um, want to make sure that your your uh, cream cheese is at room temperature. But in a large bowl, combine all the ingredients and stir well. Heat a well oiled large skillet, cast iron skillet, in a 375 degree oven for about 10 minutes. Now you just Pour your batter into the hot skillet and return to the oven and bake until golden brown approximately 30 minutes. So if you're making individual size cornbread in smaller pans, they will require a shorter cooking time. But that's a wonderful, wonderful. Is a lot that, of people call what, that. Is this what you cooked at uh, the Lady and Sons when they first opened? Michael, it was, yeah, it was very close to this. Oh, those were so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we had the best corn muffins in the whole world. I think so, At too. the Lady and Sons. When we started opening every night for dinner, I just didn't have room to have uh, somebody taking up half the stove frying uh, hoe cakes. So I said, okay, I'll serve a wonderful corn muffin. So I, I, think, I think that is the... If that's not it, it's very close to that. They were delicious. They were. Mm. They were. Um, and a, much easier to make to serve a big crowd. Right. right. But uh, you, can't eat, you can't eat those white beans without cornbread. I know. And some chopped onion. I'm ready. Mm, me too. I'm, <laughs> I'm right hungry. <laughs> Well, thank you for being with me today. Well, it was good to be with you. It's fun. Okay, so before we go, tell me your favorite cornbread. My favorite cornbread would be uh, the corn muffins you make with uh, jalapenos and real corn okay. in them. You know. Well, how about tonight for dinner? I'll make Don and me a lace hoe cake, and I'll make you the... I do like the lace hoe cake, especially the... when I'm dieting. <laughs> I forgot you were starting on your diet today. Sorry. <laughs> well, thank y'all for joining us today. I hope y'all have a great day, and I'll see you next week. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Best dishes in love. Everybody has a favorite holiday tradition, and for me, I love giving gourmet goodies from HarryandDavid.com. Harry and David has something delicious for everybody on your list, including me. In fact, I've got ahead of the holidays, and I enjoyed preparing a wonderful fresh pear salad with those delicious juicy pears. Entertaining over the holidays is so easy, especially when you can gather all around and enjoy treats from Harry and David. And right now, Harry and David is offering you 20% off your holiday purchase. That's 20% off all the Christmas gifts and goodies that the lucky person on your list can handle. Sending any of Harry and David's delicious goodies is a perfect way to show your friends, family, and co-workers just how much you're thankful for them. And whether they're a chocolate lover, a late night snacker, or a wine lover, or a holiday hostess, Harry and David it has something for everybody to love. And I think 20% off your holiday order is an amazing deal, but you have to hurry because it expires Friday. Harry and David is part of the 1-800-Flowers family of brands and the company that I go to for all my holiday gift giving and my entertaining needs. To get 20% off select holiday favorites now, go to harryanddavid.com 
click the radio icon and enter code Paula. That's harryanddavid.com. Click the radio icon and enter code P-A-U-L-A for 20% off. Hurry, y'all, because the offer ends Friday.